Thank you for the nice introduction. Um, uh, actually, I'm very Everyone. honored to be Thank invited. Thank you very much for coming to this talk. I'm Xu Jingchen from Chinese Academy of Sciences. I'm much honored to be here in this wonderful conference sharing with you some thoughts about mechanism for location games while agents take dual role of facilities and customers. This talk is based on joint work with Ming Ming Li, Chang Jun Wang, Cheng Hao Wang, and Ying Chao Zhao. This is an outline of the talk. I will first introduce some background on facility location games, focusing on mechanism design. Then I will give an overview of our main results, followed by some details on characterization of choose funnies, mechanism design for minimizing the total cost or the maximum cost among all agents. The classical facility location games model the following scenario. The government plans to build some public facilities in a metric space, while some self-interested customers are located. Given the open facilities indicated by the small red disks, each customer has a service cost or connection cost equal to the distance to his nearest open facility. The customers are strategic agents who have their own location LI as private information. They will strategically report the location LI to be BI in order to minimize their own service cost because the Location of facilities, open facilities, will be determined by the reports from all agents. Specifically, after receiving reports from all agents, the government uses a mechanism to map the reports to some locations for building facilities. The government or mechanism is to optimize a certain system objective such as minimizing the total cost of all agents or minimizing the maximum service cost among all agents. It should be guaranteed that truthfully reporting is an optimal strategy for every agent to minimize his own service costs, meaning that OBI equal to LI. The classical model does not involve payment to agents. In most study of the facility location games without payment, the government can build the facilities anywhere in the space, and only the customers are strategic agents. However, in reality, the location of potential facilities are usually limited and given in advance. Each potential facility might have an opening cost. Archer and Tardos consider this scenario and study a facility location game where only facilities are selfish agents and strategically report their opening costs to maximize their own utility. While the location of non-strategic customers are public information, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first work on facility location games that consider payments to agents. In our work, we propose a model of dual rural facility location game, DFLG for short. This model merges the customers with facility location owners. Specifically, facilities are only allowed to open at the locations of customers to whom we refer as agents and facilities interchangeably. Facilities opening costs are corresponding agents' private information, while their locations are publicly known. Given the reported opening cost, also known as B, a mechanism decides which facility to open and how much is paid to the agents. Each agent incurs either an opening cost if his facility is open or a service cost otherwise. Each customer tries to choose a bid to maximize his utility 
That is the payment he receives minus the cost he incurs. Our study on the dual role facility location games is motivated by real world application. A typical setting is observed when the authority of the city wants to build some public facilities, for example, library or supermarkets for some communities, indicated by blue small discs in the figure. Due to land use restrictions, the facilities can only be built in the communities because, for example, other land is urban green space. The opening cost of a facility contains many components, including the expenses on demolition, construction, renovation, and daily management. Each community negotiates its own prices with familiar parties who take care of these components. The authority has no access to the price information, and thus the facility opening costs are private information of corresponding communities. After receiving bids from community, the authority selects some of them for building facilities and pay to this community who bear the open cost responsible for building the facility as a compensation. Our goal is to design mechanism for the dual role facility location game that satisfy one or more desirable properties. Usually, a mechanism is required to be truthful. That is, for every agent reporting his true opening cost is an optimal strategy to maximize his own utility. A randomized mechanism is universally truthful if it takes a distribution of a deterministic truthful mechanisms. In addition, the mechanism is respect to have a good performance guarantee with respect to a certain system objective and to satisfy individual rationality, that is, every agent benefit from participating in the game. Now, let us look at some related work. Prokathia and Tenhoff first studied opposing meta mechanism design for facility location games, in which strategic customers report their locations, and the mechanism makes the reports to the location for building facilities. Their work considers single or two facility location games on a line, the one dimensional space. Since then, the models with strategic customers who report their private information, such as locations, preferences, have been widely expanded for a variety of metric space, such as line, tree, circle, and general metric space. On the other hand, as mentioned above, Archer and Tardos study the model in which strategic facility report their private opening cost, and the location of all participants, facilities, and customers are publicly known. Archer and Tardos proved that any exact algorithm on capacity facility location problem, UFR, can be extended to an optimal truthful mechanism that minimize the total opening and service cost. As we know, UFR is this classical combinatorial optimization problem. Given a set of facility and a set of customers, the UFLP is to select a subset of facility to open and assign each customer to an opening facility, such that the total opening and service cost is minimized. In contrast to the classical facility location games without payment, which consider only service cost, the system objective here involves not only the service cost, but also the opening cost. They also show that there's a constant approximate truthful mechanism when all the facility opening costs are known to lie in a bounded interval. Well, their model and the dual rule facility location game have a common feature that each facility is a strategic agent and bears his opening cost if opens. 
The difference between the two models are also clear. First, customers in their model are not strategic as in the dual facility location game. Second, when a facility does not open, the corresponding agent bears no cost in their model and bears his service cost in a dual rule facility location game. Mechanism designed for the dual rule facility location game is a single parameter as each agent holds only one private value, that is his opening cost. In a single parameter setting, Myelson first gives a characterization of truthful mechanism where each agent has a private scale value for winning and the zero value of losing is public. Archer and Tardos later extend the result to a more general setting where the cost of an agent is his private value times the amount of load assigned to him. For the facility location game, while well, only facilities are strategic, a mechanism is truthful if and only if the selection function to determine open facility is monotone. And the payment to each open facility is his threshold date at which the facility would no longer be open. Our model of dual rule facility location game falls into the single parameter framework in a totally different way due to non-uniform cost of the losers on opened facilities. Our study also considers budget feasibility of mechanisms. A mechanism is budget feasible if the total payment provided by the a mechanism does not exceed a given budget. Singer initiates the study of the budget feasible mechanism design for auctions while sellers have private cost for items and the auctioneer aims to maximize the utility function on subsets of items. He provides a constant uh, approximation mechanism when the function is monotone and submodular. Later, Chen et al. improved the approximation ratio via a grading scheme. Next, I will give an overview of our main results. We characterize and design truthful mechanism for dual rule facility location game with respect to some type and bottleneck type system objective. Our work provides a modeling, theoretical, and algorithmic contribution to the literature of truthful mechanism design for location games as well as some related games. We propose the new model of dual rule facility location game. It's the first time to merge strategic customer with strategic facilities. This model offers new insight on extending the classical facility location games. We established a characterization of normalized truthful mechanism for dual rule facility location game. Well, the normality means zero payment to all the losing agents on opened facilities. Because of the extra cost for the losing agent, their service costs, the characterization for the truthfulness is no longer the same as that by Archer and Talos, where unopened facilities bear no cost. We show that in addition to a monotone selection function, a truthful mechanism for dual rule facility location is required to keep the service cost of any losing agent unchanged, no matter how he increased his speed. Moreover, under a truthful mechanism, the payment to a winner and open facility should be his threshold bid minus the environment service cost in any outcome while he is a loser. We design optimal and approximate choose for mechanism of dual rule facility location game for minimizing bottleneck cost, that is maximum cost among all agents, and for minimizing the social cost, that is the total cost of all agents. For the formal objective, 
we provide an optimal truthful mechanism that runs in polynomial time. For the later objective, we give an optimal truthful mechanism regardless of the time complexity and then polynomial time 1.61 approximate truthful mechanism. Although the optimal mechanism forcing the VCG framework, it remains a challenge to ensure the normality and the individual rationality. In some special cases, such as trace and k facility location, this optimal truthful mechanism runs in polynomial time. The approximate truthful mechanism is based on GMSV algorithm for the uncapacity facility location problem, which particularly implies a gap of 0 0.09 between the best known approximation ratio of polynomial time truthful mechanism for strategic agents and polynomial algorithm for the corresponding non-strategic participants. For dual rule facility location games under a budget constraint that is played by an agent, we establish lower bound on the opposing mission ratios of deterministic truthful and randomized universal truthful budget feasible mechanisms for minimizing social cost and for minimizing bottleneck cost. In particular, the lower bound omega n cannot be improved even when the mechanism is allowed to use an augment budget. That is, the total payment made by the mechanism can exceed the budget by some multiplicative constant factor. This result stands in contrast to the constant approximation for minimizing a supermodular function with budget constraint, as we mentioned before. Now, let us go into some details on characterization of truthful mechanism. Here are some notations. The dual facility location game is played by a set N of N agent. While well, each agent takes a dual role of both a customer and a facility, the agents are located in a metric space, while D is the distance function. Each agent I is located at Li and uh, associated with an opening cost Fi. We use dIg to denote the distance between any two agents i and j. Each agent i submit his bid bi to form a bid vector b. A mechanism m consists of a selection function s and a payment function p. The selection function s maps the bid vector to a winner set sb. The payment function p maps the bid vector to a payment function PB, while agent I receives payment PI. Given a winning set W, the set of opening facilities, we use CIW to denote the cost of agent I. It is equal to the facility opening cost FI if I is a winner. Otherwise, it is equal to the distance from I to the nearest opening facility. Each agent I wishes to maximize his utility, which equals to his payment PI minus his cost CIW. A mechanism M is truthful if bidding to opening cost is the best strategy for every agent to maximize his utility, no matter what other agents bid. A selection function S is called monotone if the following property holds for any agent I and any bids of others. If I wins with the bid BI, then he also wins by lowering his bid. For a monotone selection function S and agent I, even bids of others agents denoted by B negative I, the threshold value of agent I denoted by this is I's lowest base under which he loses. We use SIB subscript negative I to denote the connection of all possible winner set. 
when agents other than I bid be negative Y and I loses. Here is our formal characterization for the truthfulness. A normalized mechanism of dual school facility location game is truthful if and only if it satisfies the following three conditions. The first, the selection function is monotone. The second, given the bits of other agents, the agent I, if he lose, his service cost is always the same. It is an environment regardless of his bids whenever he loses. We use DIB negative Y to denote this environment. The third condition basically says that every winner is paid his threshold value minus the environment service cost when he loses. Here, the base of other agents have been fixed as B negative Y. There are two differences between this characterization and Myerson's. The first one is the additional requirement of condition to that the service cost of a fixed loser is an environment regardless of his losing bid. The second one is the extra term minus DIB negative Y in the payment function, which comes from the environment service cost incurred by agent I when he is a loser. This characterization also serves as a basic tool for our mechanism design. By the characterization, we see that a selection function, also known as a selection algorithm, can be extended to a truthful mechanism for dual role facility location gain if and only if it satisfies condition 1 and condition 2 of this theory. First, we design truthful mechanism for minimizing the social cost. Given a winner set, the social cost is defined as the sum of all cost of all agents. It is the total service cost plus the total opening cost. In the mechanism, the selection algorithm needs to solve an uncapacity facility location problem given the location of agents and the reported opening cost of facilities. We first design an optimal truthful mechanism for dual rural facility location gain, which exactly minimizes the social cost regardless of the time complexity of the mechanism. Every optimal, also known as exact selection algorithm, is clearly monotone but it does not necessarily satisfy condition of the truthfulness characterization. To avoid this, we adopt the trivial approach that travels and indexes the all solution of the instance as a processing and always output the optimal solution with a small list index in response to the every input of the reported opening costs. Given this trivial optimal algorithm, we can see that for any fixed bits of other agents, if agent I lose, then the outcome selected by the trivial algorithm will be the same set, which we denote by SI. Then we will have the mechanism. The selection function is the trivial algorithm S and the payment is defined as base, while well, SI is the unique outcome when I lose, even the base of others. The payment here is defined according to condition 3 in our characterization for the truthfulness. Therefore, it's not hard to show that this algorithm is normalized truth for individual rational and optimal for minimizing the social cost. We remark that our mechanism 1 is actually a VCG mechanism because we can define cost functions CI tiered, selection function as a tiered, function HI which is independent from CI tiered such that the payment also within the framework of VCG mechanism.
This is our definition for CI tiered, S tiered, and HI. In particular, CI tiered is actually the cost of agent I divided by the winner set and his speed BI, his reported facility opening cost. Using HI and the framework, we can check that the payment is actually look like this. The interesting thing here is this HI guaranteed that our mechanism 1 is normalized and individually rational. However, the euro clock pivot does not guarantee normality nor individual rationality. The brute force search method in our trivial optimum algorithm as takes a uh, exponential long period of time, it is intolerable in practice. However, on the positive side, the uncapacity facility location problem admits polynomial optimal algorithm in some restricted case. For example, the tree space or the tree network, or the restricted case when at most k facility can be opened. Using the optimal algorithm for the restricted case, we can guarantee to have a truthful mechanism that is optimal for minimizing the social cost and runs in polynomial time. Next, we take polynomial running time into account and design a approximate truthful mechanism for dual rule facility location gain. We still use the fact that an algorithm can be extended to a truthful mechanism if and only if it satisfies condition 1 and condition 2 of our truthfulness characterization. Using this fact, a slight refinement of approximate algorithm for uncapacity facility location problem by Jen et al. can guarantee conditions 1 and 2. Therefore, their algorithm can be extended to a 1.6 approximate truthful qubit time mechanism for the gain for minimizing the social cost. We comment why the 1.52 approximation algorithm for the uncapacity facility location problem by Mahadim et al. cannot be extended to a truthful mechanism for dual facility location gain. This algorithm utilizes a cost scaling technique, and the solution is sensitive to the scale up or scale down reported opening cost, which may lead to a violation of condition 2 in our truthfulness characterization. So for the dual rule facility location, the current gap between the approximation ratio of a polynomial time algorithm and the truthful mechanism is 0 0.09. This is a quite small value, indicating that for dual facility location gain, the requirement of truthfulness has little effect on the approximation ratios. For the minimal bottleneck cost, we can design a truthful mechanism that is optimal and runs in polynomial time. The bottleneck cost is either the maximum service cost or the maximum opening cost, whichever is larger. Given a bid vector, we saw the bids in an increasing order as B1, B2 to Bn, renaming the agents if necessary. Then for each k from 1 to n, we divide Wk to be the set of the agents from 1 to k. It's easily seen that one of these NWK is an optimal solution for minimizing the bottleneck cost. So we have an optimal selection algorithm that runs in polynomial time. Then for each loser, the payment to him is zero. For each winner, I, his throughhold value RI star can be found by solving the program. Then according to the characterization, the payment to the winner i is his throughhold value minus his environment service cost when he loses. Then we can show that this mechanism is normalized to truthful, individually rational, and optimal for minimizing the bottleneck cost runs in polynomial time.
Finally, we study the mechanism for dual facility location game with a budget constraint. Given an instance of the game with a budget number B and a an positive integer K, a truthful mechanism is K budget feasible if its total payment to the agent does not exceed K times B. To measure the performance of a mechanism with respect to the objective cost function C, while C is either the social cost or the bottleneck cost. As in the standard analysis for budget feasible mechanism, we compare it to the optimal cost OPT of the facility location problem subject to the constraint that the total opening cost of the selected facilities does not exceed B. We define a policy mission ratio with augmentation factor K of a K budget feasible mechanism M as alpha KM, which is the worst case ratio between the cost of the solution output by the mechanism and the optimal cost. So the one budget feasibility is the euro budget feasibility, and the alpha one is the classical approximation ratio, while the classical is in quotes because for the mechanism, the budget constraint is on the total payment, while for the non-strategic optimal solution, the budget constraint is on the total facility opening cost. Suppose that the dual role facility location game is played by an agent. We prove that for the game with a budget constraint B, every deterministic normalized choose for budget feasible mechanism of M for minimizing the social cost has an approximation ratio of omega N. Even if this mechanism is allowed to use an augmented budget k times b or any constant k, that is alpha k equal to omega n. We prove the lower bound using this network. There are a number of k plus one red central node or red central agents. They connect to each other. The distance between each pair of central node is x equal to this number. Each central node is adjacent to a number of leave nodes or leave agents. The edge between a central node and his leave neighbors has length epsilon, which is a very small number. The distance between any two agents is defined as the length of the shortest path in the network. Given truth for bits, well, central agents report delta, which is a very small number, and the leaf nodes report k plus one times the budget b. Then we can show that the opposing major ratio of small o n and the k budget feasibility would imply every central agent would win under the mechanism. His payment will be threshold value minus the environment service cost. The threshold value is at least this number, while the environment service cost is at most x plus epsilon. So adding up all k plus 1 payments for the central agents will see that the total payment is strictly larger than k times b. This is a contradiction to the k budget feasibility. Thus, the assumption small o n approximation ratio is incorrect. Using Professor Yao's minimax principle, we can show that the lower bound on approximation ratio for randomized mechanism is also omega n. Yao's principle basically says that to compute a lower bound for the performance of a randomized algorithm, it is sufficient to upper bound the expected quality of deterministic algorithm with the input drawn from a distribution. By Yao's minimax principle based on the above network, 
we construct a distribution of dual-row facility location instance with budget B and prove that no deterministic truthful budget feasible mechanism can achieve an expected approximation ratio with augmenting factor K of ON against this distribution. Using similar ideal but uh, more complicated network, we can establish a 2N over 9 lower bound for the approximation ratio of deterministic normalized truth for budget feasible mechanism for minimizing the bottleneck cost. When consider the randomized universal truth for budget feasible mechanism for the bottleneck cost, the lower bound we established for the approximation ratio is 5 over 3 minus 3 over n. On the positive side, the more restrictive constraint that at most one facility can be opened allow us to obtain a normalized truthful budget feasible mechanism that minimizes the social cost or the bottleneck cost. The basic idea is to select the single agent that minimizes the total cost or the bottleneck cost under the constraint that the base does not exceed the given budget. The positive results are on single facility location unfortunately cannot be extended to k facility location gain for any constant k larger than or equal to 2. Actually, these two instances show that even for two facility location gain, no one can guarantee truthfulness, budget feasibility, polynomial running time and optimality at the same time. For two facility location game, the lower bound on the opposing mission ratio with respect to minimal social cost objective is still omega n. For the bottleneck cost counterpart, the lower bound is 4 over 3. To summarize, in our work, we characterize and design truthful mechanism for dual rule facility location gains, which suggests not only instant extensions but also promising direction of future research. Some of our results on dual reward facility location gains can be extended to a more general setting with two class of participants. The first class consists of dual rule strategic agents while the second class consists of single-row non-strategic customers. Our work contributes to the literature in two aspects. On the one hand, for facility location games, we provide the first non-trivial results on mechanism design with payments to dual-row agents. While most of the previous work on facility location games mainly concerns the case without payment, it would probably motivate more study on roses with payments. For example, the budget version of the setting studied by Archer and Tadosh, where only facilities strategically report their private opening cost, the location of all facilities and customers are publicly known. Regarding the budget feasible polynomial time and the truthful mechanisms for dual role facility location games, we have shown that for the optimality, the single facility case is the best possible we can consider. Deriving reasonable approximation ratios for the budget feasibility in dual role facility location games might be an interesting direction for future study. On the other hand, for single parameter problems, we initiate the study on the class of mechanisms where an agent incurs a cost even he loses. We believe that this study can be extended to many other topics such as reverse auction, especially combined with budget. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah the talk is um, very nice and a lot of results in your in, in one paper. Yes, but the the preliminary version does not uh, contain all the results. Actually, 
for the love and the results, they, they are new. Ah, I see. Yeah. So I think that the results are true. Abundant results in your paper. So there are some questions about their talk, about your talk from the audience. Uh, the first question is: In your work, in your work, you proposed an optimal truthful mechanism and a polynomial time approximation truthful mechanism for minimum social cost. So has it been proved that the objective of designing an Optimal choose for mechanism is MP hard. Yes, it's MP hard. We we have in our new version. Uh, <laughs> we have proved that this special case of uh, facility location is MP hard. Okay. Uh, uh, because in this uh, on capacity facility location, a customer said equal identical to the the facility set. So this yeah. is not the journal. UFLP, but we can show by a uh, reduction from domination set problem to show that this is indeed MP hard. Mm, 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 mm. So the second question is: Has ha this problem be studied? The facility providers and the customers are different parties, and both of them are selfish and strategic. <laughs> no, no. No, because they, 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 I think to to the best of, of my knowledge, uh, they have no such uh, result because you know there's two type of uh, yeah. people and mm -hmm. their behavior will be very very oh. different. Yeah. different. Yeah. So this is an interesting direction. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, in your model, I think the facility is located at the customer, uh, is located at the same place of the customer, yeah? Yeah, so, and the third question is, what would happen if there is another input key uh, indicating the facility number limit? Is this problem still MP hard when trying to optimizing, optimizing uh, social university, uh, social utility. What is the best known approximation factor of this problem? Uh, for the journal, for the journal case, uh, if if k, uh, if it input, uh, if k is an input, it is also MP hard. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. For actually, for our case, if k is constant, you can just use use uh, enumeration, <laughs> and you can get a, a actually optimal truthful mechanism. But uh, if the the the, the uh, k is an input, uh, we don't know. Uh, if in our case, in our this special case, if this uh, problem is MP hard or not. Actually, I have a question that um, because that you studied the mechanism design of the truthful mechanism design, so can you give us an example that the 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 agent the the agent the facility have the motive have the motivation to to report the mm, report the non truthful non truthful the information. You just uh, mentioned that there is a uh, there is an algorithm with the one point fifty nine approximate ratio is not truthful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you give an example that the um, shows that the agent the the agent have the motivation to to lie? <laughs> yes, actually, if if the output, I mean. Suppose you 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 lose with some bid and you lower your lose, uh, uh, no no you increase your bid then you will, uh, you will lose. Actually, this is guaranteed by the, by the normality. But mm -hmm. uh, if your uh, algorithm or your mechanism output different different winner set, I mean opening facilities, then. Mm -hmm. You can see that this you can have an opportunity to 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 rely on so that you can get a better better outcome for for the loser. You know you can just uh, get a smaller uh, service cost. So uh, actually, this is our proof. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this is our proof. Proof in any case, uh, as long as you output different uh, winner set for a fixed uh, loser, then mm. he will have uh, some instances so that he can align uh, to get a better outcome for him. So the uh, to make the more for the agent to make more util utility, uh, he can make he can report the higher uh, service cost or lower service cost of of all the both the strategy for them. Yeah, yeah. Either either way, either way. But it depends on the distance. I see. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Xu Jing. Thank you. We are very nice the the presentation. Yeah, I think you. I think you are very prepared for the talk. <laughs>